Hello and welcome to the Phone Burner Training. My name is Jeff Ostness and I will be the host today as I walk you through today's training. If you need to reach out to me, by all means, send me an email, jeff at phoneburner.com, and I will be happy to help out any way I can. Now today's topic, I'm going to talk to you about local ID. Local ID is a feature in Phone Burner that allows you to dynamically change your caller ID based off the contacts you are calling. So as you're working through your contact list, you can have the system automatically change the caller ID they see on their phone to be a local number to them. This feature can be enabled and activated in your phone burner account in a couple different ways. If you are an admin, you just click on the My Account button in the upper right hand corner and you'll see this Local ID option in the menu. Now if you're a single user, you'll go to the Dial Sessions tab, then you'll go to Phone Burner Settings, and from here you can click on the local ID link. And at that point you just need to choose which option is going to best suit you. The first option, which is our top 50, will get you the top 50 area codes used by phone burner members. What we did is we analyzed millions of phone numbers that were in the phone burner system to identify the 50 area codes that are used most often by our members to create this pack. If you would like to preview what area codes are included in the top 50, you just click on the preview order button. From here you'll be able to see a list of all of the area codes included as well as a map that shows you where those phone numbers or area codes are based out of. And of course you'll get an overview of the pricing again. Now the pricing for the top 50 is a $100 one-time setup fee and $195 a month recurring fee. Now the next option is the all area codes option. There are 308 area codes in the United States and if you'd like to have a local number for every one of those area codes, then this is the one that you'll want to choose. If we click on preview order, you can see a list of all of those area codes and once again a map that shows you where all of those area codes are based out of. And the pricing for this option is $616 one-time setup fee and a recurring fee of $495. Now the last option is the pick your own option. This is a really popular option because it allows you to look through all the 308 area codes and choose which ones you would like to select. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to click on the configure order button. This takes me to a page that shows me a list of all of the area codes broken down by state. From here I can go through and I can select individual states that I would like to have area codes for and it will automatically select every area code in that state or I can pick and choose specific area codes in each of these states. So if I know there's only certain area codes in a specific state that I want to make calls into then I don't have to buy all the area codes in that state. I can just pick and choose. Now the pricing for the pick your own option has a two dollar per number setup fee and then the monthly recurring fee depends on the total number of phone numbers that you purchase. And there is a monthly minimum of $49 a month. Now if you decide that you'd just like to have 50 phone numbers or 50 area codes, you can go ahead and select 50 here and you'll get that same $195 a month pricing that we offer on the top 50 package. Once you've gone through and selected all of the numbers that you need, you'll see an option down at the bottom to preview the order. This will take you to a page that will show you a list of all of the area codes that you selected and once again the map that shows you where those area codes are based out of. As long as you're happy with the order, then you can review the pricing. In this particular case it's got a $24 setup fee and a $60 per month recurring fee. As long as I'm happy with my order here, I just click the submit order button and the system will start processing my order. Once that order has been submitted, you'll see on the order details section the area codes that you've purchased and the assigned numbers. Now these numbers are all pending because I just submitted the order. So it does take a little bit of time for us to go ahead and process this order with our vendor. So be patient, the order will get processed and you'll see those numbers populate in the order details section soon. Now for the sake of this training I'm going to jump into a different account that's already placed an order that has some numbers assigned. So we'll jump over to that account right now. So here you can see this account had placed an order for four area codes. The numbers have been assigned to the account. These numbers are not shared with any other users on the phone burner system. They are for you or for your team if you're part of a team account. Now that we've placed our order and the phone numbers have been assigned, let's talk about how to configure the local ID settings. 
So I'm going to go back to the main local ID page and from here I'm going to click on the configure option. So this is the page you go to to configure your local ID settings. The first thing you need to do is you need to decide what the primary callback number is going to be for your local IDs. Now if you're an individual account that's the only number you need to configure. Now as an admin you actually have some additional configuration options if you choose to configure them. So as a team you can have all of the callbacks to your local ID numbers go back to the general number and you just leave this set here and you don't have to mess with anything else or you can set it up so that the system dynamically forwards the calls to each of your team members based off of who was the last person to call that number. So for example, let's say I'm part of a team and I call Mary. Mary sees my local ID number on her phone and calls me back using that local ID number. The system will actually see that I was the last person to call Mary and the system will route that call to me. Now if somebody else on my team were to call Mary after me, the system would route her call to the other team member. Now a little note here, if Mary were to call that local ID number back from a different phone number, a phone number that I didn't call her on, the system would not know which team member to forward it to and it would just forward that call to the general number. So keep that in mind. There may be some times where your contacts call back your local number but they're not using the phone that you called them on and in those cases they always go back to the general callback number. Now in order to configure each of your team members callbacks it's very simple you just go through here and you look at each of your team members they're listed by name and you just enter the callback number for that team member. Now if there's a team member that you just want their calls to go back to the general number just leave the box blank and the system will forward any calls to that team member back to the general number. Once you've gone in and you've updated all of the callback numbers, make sure at the very bottom that you switch this to yes to enable local ID. Once it's enabled, save changes. Now we've activated local ID and we've configured our callback numbers and if you're an individual member there's not much else for you to do at this point but if you are an admin now there's one other piece that you need to do as an admin to make sure each of your team members are set up to use the local ID. So as an admin I would click on the team tab. That'll take me to a screen that's going to list off all my team members. Any team member that I want to make sure has access to the local ID feature I just edit that team member. That'll take me to the screen that allows me to enable certain features for this particular member. Now in this case I just need to look for the use local ID option and make sure it's set to yes or if I want to disable it set it to no. Whenever I make a change it automatically saves so I don't have to hit any save buttons. You'll see that little save message pop up there. I'm going to go back and if I haven't set up all my users or when I go to set up a new user I will see this use local ID option on this page before I actually set up the user so I don't have to go in and edit the user after the fact. Now once we've done this we've got our team ready to start using the local ID feature so now I want to show you how easy it is to use this feature in a dial session. So I'm going to go to contacts and I'm going to go ahead and select a couple contacts and begin a dial session. That brings up the dial session window that we normally see at the start of any dial session and what you'll notice is this new option here at the beginning of the session to enable local ID. By default it's set to yes so so you or your members would actually have to switch this to no for it to not be enabled by default. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that set to yes and we're going to go ahead and continue. So I've used my phone to get us connected to the dial session. My default caller ID on this account is set up here with my toll free number and that's the caller ID that will show if I'm calling somebody in an area code where I don't have a local ID number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start dialing and that's going to bring up my first contact in this case Mr. Jeff Test. You'll see that Jeff Test is now being called at this 435 number and the caller ID has changed to 435. If I call Jeff Test on the 623 number you'll see the caller ID dynamically changes not based off the contact but based off the phone number that's being called. Now if I mark this contact as no answer 
and I move on to the next call, this contact has a toll-free number. So the system went back to my default caller ID or what I've got plugged in as my primary caller ID. And then if I move on to the next contact, you'll see it once again dynamically changes back to that 623 number because I'm calling a contact in the 623 area code. And that's a quick little overview of the local ID feature in PhoneBurner. Once again, the phone burner pricing, $149 for our unlimited plan or $67.50 for 7.5 hours of usage each month. Now, if you're part of a team, we do offer discounts. So the more seats you have, the more money you'll save. Just let us know how much you need and we'll help you out. Now, if you've not set up your phone burner trial yet, we do offer a free no credit card trial with phone burner. Just go to phoneburner.com and set up your free trial today and happy dialing.